This next selection of footage represents perhaps the high point of the V2 research program in America, the Bumper Whack series. Bumper Whack was the first practical application of the multi-stage rocket theories put forth by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky and brought together a V2 rocket as a booster combined with a modified Army WAC sounding rocket as a second stage. This combination was capable of both high altitude flight profiles as well as low altitude high speed flights. The first bumper flights were all high altitude attempts flown at White Sands. Bumper WAC 1 was launched on May 13, 1948, reaching an altitude of 112 kilometers. The next three flights were all failures, but on February 24, 1949, Bumper WAC 5 reached the highest altitude of any flight in the American V-2 research series, 393 kilometers. In fact, at the time, this was the highest altitude ever achieved by any man-made object. After a failed sixth bumper launch attempt at White Sands, the program moved east to the newly established Joint Long Range Proving Grounds at Cape Canaveral, Florida. On July 19, 1950, the first launch at the new launch range was attempted, but Bumper WAC-7 failed to achieve launch thrust. A decision was made to remove Bumper 7 from the launch pad and try again with another rocket. On July 24, 1950, Bumper WAC-8 became the first rocket to fly from what would become America's premier launch facility. Five days later, Bumper WAC-7 returned to the pad and was finally launched successfully. As you watch this footage, note that no markings are visible on Bumper WAC-7 during the first launch attempt, but that the B-7 and reluctant Dragon markings have been added when the rocket returns to the pad.